So you guys want to know how you can tell that politics and the media are 20 years behind in the gun control debate? It's because you never once ever hear them talking about the fact that a motherfucker has already printed out his own AR-15 attack assault rifle at home on his own home 3D printer. That shit has already happened, man. We're not talking about science fiction. We're talking about science already the fuck happened. So seriously, how the fuck does the government expect to pass any kind of meaningful gun control if they do not first address the issue of printable guns? Obviously, that's the first fucking thing you have to talk about. If people can just print out their guns, there can be no effective gun control whatsoever. Because lots of people already have these 3D printers in their houses. And eventually, everybody will have one. It'll be the normal thing to have these 3D printers in their houses. And the government won't be able to stop it. What are they going to do to tell people not to print out guns? Of course, that won't work. It'll just make people want to print out guns more. People will be like, the government doesn't want me to print out guns? Well, fuck them. I'm going to print out two or 3,000 of them just in case. That's the way fucking people's mind work, man. You can't stop them from doing it. Once that genie's out of the bottle, which it already is, you can't put that shit back in it. In fact, I predict the guns become so common and so cheap, they'll become disposable. I bet they'll start selling them at Walmart, man. They'll probably come pre-packed with 10 bullets. Then once you fire those 10 bullets, you can't reload anymore. You just throw it away and buy another one. And everybody will have their $10 10-bullet 10 Walmart gun, because why the fuck not, man? Just in case. You'll be armed, I'll be armed, everybody will be armed, man. And what kind of society will that turn us into? Fuck if I know, man. I guess we'll all find out together. I don't know if it'll be a more polite society or not, but maybe you might want to be more polite to each other out there because you never know. So that's going to pull a gun out on you, man. You never know. But here's the thing, man. When you pull your gun, you better be very careful because that's the very best way you're going to get killed, man. I can guarantee you that in the future, pulling your gun out and waving around will be the number one thing you can do to get dead real fucking fast, man. So be very fucking careful, you people. In fact, eventually our society might even evolve to a stage where we realize that having a gun statistically actually makes you more likely to be shot by a gun. That's just a statistical fact, man. Gun ownership makes you more likely to get shot by a gun. And I think eventually people will start saying to themselves, you know what? I don't want to be shot by a gun, man, so I probably shouldn't be carrying a gun around on me. And hopefully, eventually, we'll evolve to a society that cares more about trying to make it so that even crazy people don't want to kill themselves and a bunch of other people at the same time. They want to live their lives. We want to make everybody's lives good enough to live. So crazy motherfuckers don't have to feel like they got to shoot other motherfuckers up. We have to work towards a society that takes the mental illness of other human beings seriously, that offers them serious help. So you guys watch. Eventually, the media and the politicians will catch up with the times, will catch up with the internet, and eventually they will start talking all day and all night about these printable 3D guns. That'll be the next big debate when it comes to gun control, I guarantee you. And every time you guys hear them talk about the technology that allows them to print out guns on 3D printers, every time you hear them talk about how amazingly sci-fi this shit is, just know was all brought to you by logic. Logic. When it's time to judge myself, when it's time to pay that toll.